Hey, what's up? It's me, it's Dee Wood. Still here at Ruby Memorial Hospital in Morgantown, West Virginia. My voice is still shot because I have a cold. Uh, was just upstairs with my brother Manny, uh, who's on life support, and wanted to post a quick update for those of you who've been asking for an update. Um, he just had a friend uh, show up, and there's only two people allowed in the room at a time. So she's up there with my mom. Um, but she has to leave in a couple minutes to go back to work, so we'll go back up and uh, check on Manny. Um, not much has changed over the past couple days. Uh, the brain functions that he has so far are basically brain stem activities, so sort of the lowest part of your brain, things like reflexes or um, uh, pupils dilating, things like that. Uh, he did bite down on the tube um, that's in his mouth, um, and so th those are all kind of basic brain functions, uh, not exhibiting anything uh, higher level, but uh, his brain is still swollen. So until that swelling goes down, they kind of don't know uh, what his situation is going to be. So they're waiting for the, the swelling to go down. They're trying to get the swelling to go down and then they'll see um, see what he's capable of. So that's the situation here. Um, again, uh, the, his friend who came in, she'll be leaving soon. So uh, let's go have a look and see how he's doing. Yo. Yo. Wake up. Time to get up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. You think we're going to slack on you just because you're having some trouble right now? No. Nope. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. I know you don't like being poked in the face. I know you don't like being poked in the face. I know you don't like being poked in the face. Only one way to stop it. Only one way to stop people from poking you in your face for the rest of your life. Hey. Put your hands up. Yo. Yo. Wake up, 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 wake up. Time to wake up. That's my brother John, by the way. How you doing? How you doing? How's your boy doing? He's doing good. All right, awesome, man. He's getting big. Wake up. All right, better get used to this because we're going to keep poking you until you wake up. You've got so many nephews and stuff that need you around. You need to get up. All right, I gotta cut my phone off because uh, we're gonna play some scripture in his ear. All right, so not looking great, but we'll know a little bit more once the swelling on his brain goes down. Uh, once we find that out, I'll update everyone again. If you're wise, you should be able to learn from these kinds of situations. Fun fact, apart from some amazing case of divine intervention, 100% of you who are watching this are going to die. Might be from drugs, might be from an accident, might be from some disease, might be from a heart attack, might be from old age. But the time you've got, compared with eternity, is very, very short. Your time is very short. So you want to be wise with your time. And that means two things. One, you want to make sure you're right with your Creator, with the Almighty, because that affects your eternity. And two, the time you've got here, you want to be smart with it. The past is history, the future is a mystery, but every moment we have right now is a gift. That's why it's called the present.